Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and today's video is Therapeutic Thursday with ELF. And so this month we're visiting ELF products, and I shared with you my haul. And so last week I tried on uh, a couple of the items. I did the face mask, and then I came in with the uh, Hello Hydration Face Cream afterwards, which I've been using this, and I really, really enjoy it. And then the e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. And I've been using this. This is a terrific product. And so this last week I incorporated into the routine the e.l.f. Keep Your Balance Toner. And I've already used almost, well, over half of it. So it's probably going to be gone in another week. But I really enjoy this toner. It's great for in the mornings when I get up and I just want to... Uh, wipe off the uh, skincare products from the night before and I just use a cotton round and I just go right in and um, and then I can just you know do my day creams and so on and so forth today's video is going to uh, I want to share with you guys this little kit called the jelly pop face kit this is how it came packaged really cute items and there's three products in here and one of them is the jelly pop dew primer so we're going to use that so i'm going to go ahead and put a little primer on my face and this is supposed to bring some hydration to the skin this is a thicker type gel very cooling on the skin feels really really good and uh, it's it's kind of it's, it's surprisingly thick all right I'm just gonna rub this in yeah and let this bring some Dewiness to my skin, which my skin's pretty dewy anyway, because I I keep up with some skincare. <coughs> the texture of this is is um this is the mini size, but the texture of this is it's not sticky, but it is thick. So if you're not into thick products, anyway, but I do like the way it leaves my skin looking just not used to that and there's a kind of a stickiness to it which is kind of good because your foundation will stick stick to it really well hmm very interesting okay and then as a part of that uh, little kit there's the jelly pop face and eye gloss which comes in this little pot and you can see just from the back side how beautifully shiny it is so i'm gonna try to open this and whoa huh, this came out like ice in y'all let's just swatch this i'm not sure i'm going to use this today but we'll, i'm gonna kind of get used to the product i think a little bit before i use it let's see let's just swatch it right here wow look at that that would be really pretty as a cream highlighter or even as an eye gloss you know for those really wet eye looks okay had to see what I was working with there love the color though love that white frostiness Ooh, it's so pretty okay and then the third thing that was in the kit was this uh, juicy gloss so I'll wait and put that on here in a minute so for right now what I want to do is I want to go in with this elf camo concealer it's a color correcting full coverage natural finish plus collagen peptides niacinamide and broad spectrum SPF 30 in the color fair 120 neutral so boom this has got all kinds of good stuff in it it sounds like so i'm just gonna put this on my beauty blender which is damp put a couple of pumps there and i'm just gonna kind of dab this here and there 
and then I'm just gonna go for it. And we'll see what kind of what kind of coverage it gives and what kind of look I come up with. Looks like it's gonna cover all my redness, which is good. Because that's what I need. Let's see how well it covers that blemish. Okay, keep pouncing that into the skin. And I love beauty blenders because they don't leave brush marks and that's why I use them and I like them damp because it thin it kind of thins out the product a little bit which makes it a little bit more um, sheer on the skin and my natural skin can shine through but I like products that are buildable too where I can go in with a second layer if I need to you know to cover up any problem areas like any blemishes or any uh, any redness or any places that are just uneven. Like in the summertime when I'm out in the sun, I'll have a bunch of freckles that'll pop up. And I like to cover up all my freckles. And just even out my skin tone. So for the summer, I would probably go with a shade darker than this, but I think this is going to be good for winter. And it may oxidize. We'll see. So I'm not going to put anything else on top of this right now. I'm just going to let it sit and soak in. But it's really easy to use, really comfortable. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. It feels very lightweight and it's really, it's pouncing in really nice. <clears throat> so it's absorbing pretty good. Okay, we'll see how that does in a few minutes. In the meantime, I will move on and I will go on to this juicy gloss and let's see what a little bit of lip gloss feels like. This is supposed to be cherry. I'm not sure if it's flavored or just scented, but anyway, cherry. And it's got one of these little applicators that makes it easy. And it's got a bit of a tint to it. Mm, nice and emollient too. There's no taste. In fact, the taste is really bad. I don't like the way it tastes at all. Mm. It's got kind of a funny smell too. I don't know why they call it cherry pop. Probably because of the color. It almost reminds me of um, the Korean lip look. How they put the darker color on the inside of the lip and then they leave the outside of the lip kind of light looking you could probably get that kind of a look with this juicy gloss okay we're just gonna let that sit all right I'm gonna work on my brows I got a instant lift brow pencil from elf this is in the shade medium brown neutral brown and so this is part of my haul and I wanted to try this out today and see how it does. So while the uh, foundation sits for a minute. I think it 
I think it's warm enough. Even though it's neutral, I think it's definitely warm enough for my skin. Okay, let's go in with this brow pencil. The last time I did a e.l.f. pencil, I got a shade that was too light. So I wanted to make sure and go, you know, try a shade that's darker. And this is pretty good and creamy. It's not real super waxy or anything. I'm going to use a light hand since it is a shade darker than what I had last time. I want to make sure that I don't overdo it. And then use the brush to kind of brush it through. And then get these front, these few hairs here in the front. It's really creamy. I feel like I may need a brow gel. We'll see. Let me just finish using it. You know, I, I never used to use brow gels. And then once you start using them, whether they're whether they add to your brows or they're colored or not colored, they all seem to have one thing in common, and that is they help set your brows in place, and the product is set, you know, into the brow hairs to where it's not going to move all day. And so I've tried all kinds of brow gels, and uh, I, I like them. I used to think that was a step that I would probably just skip and I was like oh that's just another extra step that's just too much but then when I saw for myself you know how effective it was I, I reach for it you know almost every time I do my brows these days and it's to the point now where I feel like especially when using a creamy product like this I feel like I can't do without it You'll have to let me know how you feel about brow gels down in the comments. This is a good color. And this this product right here is a really, it's only $2. It's a really good bang for the buck. You know, really good bargain. And you can find this in the drugstores and I purchased this online. But if all you need is a brow you know a brow pencil and not a you know enough items to warrant the shipping or whatever you could just get this in the drugstore and it's a pretty decent size too so anyway I like this I like I like the elf uh, brow brow pencil all right let me just take a look at this foundation And because I use that dewy primer underneath it, I mean, I have a natural dewiness to my skin. Plus, I had some skincare, you know, items on underneath that. So, I feel like, you know, this is done well. And the, the color is good. And so, I feel like I could go in with concealer and powder and just move right on with my makeup. So, this is a really nice, um, good coverage. Um, it didn't dry out my skin or look cakey or anything like that it's definitely moisturizing and it has um the active ingredients for the spf is 
oxate, titanium dioxide, and zinc oxide. So when you saw I used two pumps. So anyway, there you go. It's a good product. Good product. This um, lip gloss is effective, but like I said, the uh, it's emollient enough. It does have a bit of color, but the smell and the taste is not uh, something that you would enjoy. Uh, the dewy primer is different, but it has not hindered any of the applic. In fact, if anything, it helped the app the foundation to um, adhere to my skin so but it is different so you have to get used to that <clears throat> and this face and eye gloss I will come back at another time and use it I don't think I'm quite ready to use that today so I'll keep you posted on those things so anyway that is spotlight on elf for therapeutic Thursday and uh, I'm planning to be pulling together some elf items for you guys for a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And I will be pulling that together just as soon as I can. All right. Well, that's it for me for today, you guys. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, taking time out of your busy day to watch my video. And um, God bless you. Today is my prayer. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.